listen up. Here's two tips I want you to know to make sure that you sustainably lose weight in the least amount of time the right way. Tip number one, adopt frequent short duration workouts. Okay, I've seen way better results from people who adopted 15 minute workouts, maybe five or six times a week, and they just throw it in their morning routine than somebody who is trying to go to the gym multiple times a week and spend like a whole hour there. Okay, if you want to put a massive amount of muscle on, then then maybe that's what you need to do and you're going to need a little more volume in your workouts. But for most of us who just want to put on a little bit of muscle, feel stronger, be healthy and focus on trimming down you're going to see way better results from short, frequent workouts, okay? And it also plays on what I call habit stacking, right? Those small wins stacked over over time. If you just throw in a 15-minute workout first thing in the morning, that's going to make you want to do something else, right? It's, it's going to give you confidence. It's going to give you evidence that change is happening. It's going to become more and more attractive. So you're going to want to add something else. You're going to want to add a little bit of a walk, 15, 30 minutes, 45 minutes even. And then you're going to want to eat healthier. And then later in the day, you might throw another workout or another walk-in. Tip number two is hack your environment. Okay, the more variables you take out, means the less decisions that you have to make in the day. Makes it easier to stick to the plan, less decision fatigue, okay? Everyone knows that they need to move more and eat healthier to get in shape, right? But a lot of people don't understand why they're not already doing it. So they end up thinking that something's wrong, either with them or their plan, and they don't know what to do, or like they're just broken and they, they, they're always going to be that way. When in reality, they just need a bit more control on their environment because their environment is just so unsupportive that of course they're going to fail. Anybody would fail in those situations, right? So take a look at your environment, right? And sure, you know, you may need to build commitment and discipline, but making it easier by being committed at the grocery store or even before you go shopping by making a shopping list, right? Don't rely on discipline in those situations when you're you're at home and you're staring at a fridge or you're in line at, at the you know, fast food restaurant, right? That's not the time to do it. Hack your environment. Make it more supportive. If it doesn't come into your environment and you don't have comparison, right? I've said this before. If you've got a, an apple or a candy bar, you're probably going to choose a candy bar if it's in front of you, Right? If you're deciding first thing in the, in the morning, if you're going to go on a run or if you're going to go do a workout and you didn't plan it the day before, you didn't script your day out, you didn't lay out your gym clothes, you don't have your water bottle ready to go, it's going to be way harder. Okay? So hack your environment. All right. Hope this was valuable for you. Thank you for your time. I hope you got a return on it and I'll see you in the next one.